Peace, what's going on? Welcome to the Black Variants Podcast. I'm Toast Johnson. We got Spider-Man No Way Home trailer just dropped. Man, it was crazy. Yeah, very dope. Very dope trailer. Uh, got everything from the Sinister Six there. Uh, a lot of the rumors that was uh, that was out there that people were talking about for months and months around this movie. Um, you know, some of those rumors were true. And uh, a lot of other, you know, uh, new things and shocking things that they showed uh, that they showed in there. So, yeah, definitely want to take a look at um, a look at some of the stuff, some of the, some of the clips from the from the trailer. Um, be showing you some uh, some photos from them um, and uh, just, you know, just go through them and talk about uh, talk about the trailer and my reaction to it. You know, so um, first of all, I'll let you know what the with the plot the plot of uh spider-man no way no way home is uh with spider-man identity now revealed our friendly neighborhood web slinger is unmasked and no longer able to separate his n- normal life as peter parker from the high stakes of being a superhero when peter parker acts for help from dr strange the stakes become even more dangerous forcing him to discover what it truly means to be spider-man uh the director is john watts uh, this is coming from uh, from Marvel, Marvel uh, Studios, MCU, and uh, this is the third film, I believe, in um, in the Spider Man series. I think it's the last one. Um, so this is going to be like you know Spider Man Endgame. It's going to be action packed and and you know a lot of expectations for uh, for this movie. Um, so yeah, you know it's it's, it's going to be real dope. We're going to take a look at it. That's some of the clips here, some of the the, the photos from it, uh, and uh, talk about it. So yeah, definitely it's going to be a crazy, crazy movie. You got Doctor Octopus coming back from Spider Man Two. Um, Doctor Oct was one of the the favorite uh, favorite villains from Spider Man uh, from Spider Man movies, besides the Green Goblin. Um, uh, Alfred Molina is returning to reprise his role as, as uh, Dr. Uh, Octopus or Octavius, um, Dr. Octavius. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's, uh, Alfred Molina is back to reprise, to reprise his role and it's looking, it's looking dope so far. They use de-aging technique uh, CGI on him to make um, Alfred Molina appear younger appear more of the age he he was when he filmed uh, uh spider-man 2 so uh you know that that that's uh interesting and that's unique i know they use that uh that process in a, a few other films the last time i saw it it was in uh the irishman with uh robert de niro where they made uh robert de niro and joe pesci like 10 15 years younger uh, felt they could have did it a little bit better. They got to take kind of the plastic look out the face, but I'm quite sure they'll get better with that. We'll see how Alfred Molina uh, and uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, see how the CGI uh, de-aging effects are in that uh, in that movie. And, uh, you know, we'll see if they, they further along. This is a Spider-Man here and um, the suit he first, I think this, this particular suit first appeared in... Uh, in uh, Avengers Endgame, um, the one uh, I believe that uh, that Stark's built for him, I believe, yeah, because this has the nanotech, uh, the same stuff that uh, that Iron Man uniform is built out of. Uh, this particular uniform is built out of. So this is the I believe the Iron Spider uniform, and this is a big fight that's happening, I believe, right uptown, uh, right before you hit the George Washington Bridge, which is going to be fun to see some of the background and and scenery that is, you know, familiar to people who are from New York and definitely from uh, from up around that way if you ever want to cross that bridge, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, this right here, uh, I believe, is um, a scene from um, where Tom Holland, Spider-Man, uh, he feels guilt because from the last movie he was accused of killing Mysterio, which he didn't. He was just set up by Mysterio. And now that everybody knows his identity, um, you know, he doesn't want to be associated with with uh, with people dying and him being responsible for it. So when Doc, Dr. Strange tells him that he has to return all these villains back to their uh, back to their uh, 
their universe and when they return they're going to return to to um the point where he took them from uh when he took them away and brought them into this uh into tom holland's uh universe he took them at a point just before they were going to die so if you remember in spider-man one green goblin he got a um, he took a jab to that uh to that spear that he had to the stomach and he died so he was lifted right before that point uh I, uh doc ock fell into the water and kind of like disappeared we assumed that he died and he's taking each one of them from that point where they uh where they deceased and brought them just before they deceased brought them to this uh to this universe so now uh if he returns them back they will die and now for some you know reason uh tom holland is acting like Tariq from uh from power and stupid and he just doesn't you know want want that to happen and he takes the main thing that that dr strange uses for that spell takes it and runs away you know to to try to you know i guess you know uh make dr strange change his mind so that's what i'm assuming so this part here is when spider-man grabs it and goes off on the run uh with it trying to escape and him and doc dr strange has a has a battle this should be real dope too yeah you saw this one from the trailer you see peter is still holding the box right here he steals it he's still holding the box so it'll be interesting to see how uh how that scene plays out and how um how that happens you know what i mean this right here is an interesting uh look um on some real nerd comic book shit. um right here you notice that doc ock has a red lining on his arms he didn't have that before in the original one and i believe that's now the nanotech that i was talking about that was on peter parker or spider-man suit with the iron spider uniform somehow has integrated with doc ox technology so now you have a little bit of stark technology integrated with uh doc ox uh technology which is real real dangerous very dangerous very powerful and very dangerous and you know um yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how how all that works out you know so uh yeah definitely that that that's gonna be an l scene right there definitely wow you know this right here is Jamie Foxx returns as Electro. Mmm, dope. I didn't like Electro in uh in Amazing Spider-Man, I think it was, uh, with Andrew Garfield. I didn't like that uh like Jamie Foxx in that role. I thought it was whack. I thought it was corny. Um, it wasn't the Electro that I remembered or anything like that. The, as far as uh, the look of Electro, it wasn't anything that I remembered from the comic book, how Electro looked. And it was just distant. It was just a whack, whack move. You know what I mean? But this time it looked like he uh like he um has redeemed himself. Definitely looked like he has redeemed himself. I mean, this right here, I mean, it's crazy. Now you enter the MCU and the MCU is gonna make sure that the characters look somewhat comic book uh accurate. And what we see right here is uh we got Jamie Foxx's Electro, and um he's looking more and more like you know the comic book uh original comic book character this is another scene with him right here i believe he has like this uh technology now before you remember he looked at all crazy his face was all blue and he had all this electricity surging through his body and you know he looked you know all wild and shit so i believe this device right here that's uh this harness that's on him and around his arms i believe this right here um helps him maintain uh a human form but still you know harness the power and control the power the way that he needs to control it so yeah that's that that's pretty dope that's pretty dope right there i think jamie fox is you know i'm not sure how much of the movie he's in but I'm, he's going to kill it this right here is the the original uh the original electric i mean the original electro that's how he looks in the comic books i mean real stupid costume starfish electricity mass but that's how he looked in the comic books if you read them when you was coming up or watched the cartoon and you see right here that they did it they they got the electricity sparking around his face you know what i mean 
you know, and, and that's going to look real ill and real dope. I think they pulled it off. Uh, Marvel pulled it off on this one. So, you know, definitely dope just to, to see how that's going to happen. This right here, William Dafoe coming back as Green Goblin. He was one of the best villains in Spider-Man. And I think he's going to be the main villain in this particular Spider-Man, uh, which is which is ill. William Dafoe, you can't go wrong with uh, William Dafoe as your villain. He always come through, a terrific actor. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing how, you know, what takes place and how uh, how now the Green Goblin is going to be utilized in, uh, in the MCU. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, what we else we got here? We got um, Tom Holland right here. This looks like uh, that scene, you know, around the Statue of Liberty. Uh, you know, Marvel plays a lot of tricks, so I'm not sure what's accurate and what's not accurate uh, as far as uh, what's real and what's not real, because they play a lot of tricks, you know, in their trailers, and they'll do put stuff in there that's not there or take stuff out that's supposed to be there. And I was looking at this particular picture, and maybe I'm going off on the deep end. Maybe this this is a real scene from the movie, but it just seemed like he, he this this thing here seemed seems like that seems like it's like andrew garfield ish right here. it's like andrew garfield here it's like right here and then it's like they took a face but maybe i'm i'm totally wrong maybe it's like an andrew garfield neck too man i don't know i don't even like i'm watching andrew garfield like that but when you look at andrew garfield in the spider-man movies you know kind of but maybe i'm wrong you know all right forget that delete that man we shall should pr proceed F fuck that um yeah this right here is uh is what i think is gonna be the final battle final battle scene um with spidey going up uh well all three spider-men is going up against the, the sinister six or at least right here this is three of uh uh out the sinister six so um we got electro we got sandman in the middle and we got the lizard and um on the other side, even though when you watch the trailer, they make it appear that it's one Spider-Man, you know, the people out there wasn't fooled so, so easily and, and, you know, pointed out a few things that showed that, uh, it's definitely three Spider-Men here. This right here is going to be interesting also. Um, this is a scene where, um, where you see Mary Jane falling and she's falling in the same way that Gwen Stacy fell in uh in the amazing spider-man with andrew garfield and they kind of replaying that scene here and you see what appears to be tom holland react to it and he jumps down to save um uh mary j mary yeah mary j playing by uh she, she's played by um zendaya and he jumps down to save mary j and um you see him reaching out the same way that andrew garfield reached out to to uh Gwen Stacy. Um, if you remember, Andrew Garfield wasn't successful in saving Gwen Stacy. He he tried, but uh, the final attempt where I believe she snapped her neck or snapped her back, and he felt real responsible, you know, for that and had a lot of guilt on his back, you know, on that. So this scene is played out again uh, with Mary Jane being in place of Gwen Stacy and Tom Holland being in place of Andrew Garfield. What I think, though, is that that hand could be Andrew Garfield's hand, reaching out, jumping and reaching out to save Mary Jane because he's not going to make that same mistake again twice. And Marvel is not going to use the scene that we know we've seen in another Spider-Man movie. They're not going to use it just arbitrarily to to put it in, to, just to throw it in a, a this new Spider-Man movie. So... I think it's a uh, it's redemption for for Andrew Garfield's uh, Peter Parker in saving uh, Mary Jane, uh, Mary Jane Watson, played by uh, Zendaya. All right. So, yeah. And this is uh, another scene where you see uh, Zendaya falling. Um, yeah. Right here. It's another scene where where you see Zendaya falling. Yeah. She's falling down right 
And uh, that's the same way that uh, Gwen Stacy was falling. It's the same exact fucking way that Gwen Stacy died. Word. Word. So, yeah. You know, they replaying that again. We'll see what uh, what happens with it. But, um, yeah, it's a jam-packed trailer. Tram- this is the thing I was talking about uh, a few seconds ago, right? So, peep this. So, in the trailer, when you when you see this particular part, this is that going towards the end of the trailer, right? You own you see this Spider Man right here. You see this Spider Man right here, right? You see him, and you see Electro, and you see the Lizard, and you see Sandman, right? But the thing is, you don't see this. This is a new picture that somebody put up, right? I'm gonna let this thing go off. It's a new picture that this is a new picture that somebody put up, right? And they added the Spider Man's in there, and you know, this is pretty much it. it this is how somewhat it, it has to look some kind of way, right? Because the thing is, you got the Spider Man in the middle, and it looks like he's going straight at either uh, uh, Sandman, but you got Electro who's up high, right? who seems like he's going at somebody. He look, don't look like he's going at the person in the middle. And you got the lizard at the bottom who don't look like he's leaping towards the Spider-Man in the middle. So when you see the trailer and you see it happens, it looks real odd. Because, like, why is the lizard jumping? Who who the hell is he jumping at? And so that's why I'm saying with Marvel, they they play tricks. And they'll, uh, they'll um, take things out of trailers and, you know make you think something is there that's not there or just, you know, do some real trickery where they don't have to spoil it all for you. You know, I believe the rumor was that Sony wanted to to have to show both Spider-Man. They wanted to show Spider-Man, uh, Tobey Maguire and Spider-Man, uh, uh, Andrew Garfield in the trailer and uh, Marvel didn't. So I guess, you know, you know, we'll see. I wouldn't want them to really show them in the trailer, too. I want to see it right in the theater when it happens. You know what I mean? Or, you know, wherever I could watch it at. You know what I mean? So, yeah, this is this is, this is is crazy. That's when, you know, it got confirmed. That's when I knew, yeah, definitely uh, uh, Tobey Maguire and uh, Andrew Garfield is in this new Spider-Man. The multiverse has definitely opened, uh, has opened up. So, um, yeah, you know what I mean? That's a look at... Um, at uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, a quick look at it, quick chat, chat about the uh, about the trailer. Um, think it's going to be a real dope movie. Um, uh, like and comment. Let me know what y'all think about it. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, you know what I mean? When it comes out, I'll do a review of the movie. It's going to be out uh, sooner than y'all, y'all think. Uh, December 17th is right around the corner. So, you know, the Marvel Universe explodes on December 17th. Nothing's going to be the same again. So, God willing, blessing that um, I'm here to to see that and experience that with all y'all. God willing and blessing that you want to be here and watch watch this terrific movie that's going to come out. Be safe. um, Take care. uh, And, you know, I'll see you soon. Black Variance Podcast. I'm Toast Johnson. Peace. (laughs) 